Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Before we close things up over here, like I said, we're back in the kitchen. Now, whether you are a beginner or a seasoned cook or anything in between, Chef Clem's curated selection of must-have kitchen essentials will ensure you're always prepared to cook up something absolutely delicious. Now, before we get into the kitchen, we have to know what it's all about, Chef Clem. You only have five. It's like choosing a favorite child. Let me know where we begin. Um, I had one chef that said, this, the Proper preparation prevents, I won't say the next one, poor performance, <laughs> right? And that, that is so true, the especially peas. in the kitchen. Mm. I mean, if you don't plan before you step into the kitchen, you can, things are going to go wrong. Absolutely. So, but there's small things that I have in the kitchen that just make my life a lot easier when I'm cooking. Okay. And it's not like hectic, high-tech stuff. It's basic things. Let's do a swap. Let's All do right, a swap. So the first thing is... And I can't stress this enough, mm. a good set of knives. And again, you don't have to go crazy and buy the whole 21 piece. I say if you have three good pieces that do really a lot, most of the jobs in the kitchen, you're going to be happy. Okay, so does size matter or? Um, yes, actually. Mm. So let's talk about the chef knife where I feel like size really does matter because they all have different, this is a 20, I think this is a 20 centimeter. You also get a 24, right? Okay. Which is great. If you got, if you're someone who needs a heavier, bigger knife and you find controlling it, that's yours. But if you're someone who's not really, how can I explain without offending people? If you got small hands, no. If, <laughs> if you just know you can't handle the extra weight of the knife and one that weighs less is yes. going to be more control for you, that's when you need to, that's when you need to go for a smaller knife. Okay. And the I best can thing this. to do is to go into store, pick it up, and then just stand there and Willie's just pretending to like chop. How does it feel? Do you have control? Mm. Can you use the tip of the knife? Can, mm. you, can you work with it? That's how you're gonna find your knife. Find the one, the knife that suits you. Next one is a tomato knife. Now, I think it was like last year, I okay. posted a video about the tomato knife at Willie's, a different one, mm -hmm. because I was mind blown. Yeah. The video ended up in Brazil. Oh my gosh. I am telling you. So, the tomato knife is absolutely amazing. Not just because, ooh, friend. It is sharp. <laughs> it is sharp. Did I, almost, like, did I almost lose a finger there? It is sharp. So here's the thing about the tomato knife. Um, okay, specifically called, called a tomato knife because it's got this fine serration okay. on there. It gets through anything like with one slice. Mm without damaging the structure of what you're going to be cutting. Oh so, my gosh, that's life changing. No, it is because tomatoes, uh, it's like I love a tomato when it's not too firm, right? Because okay. then I know the flavor is going to be more juicy. intense, but I know what it's going to be like to slice versus having this knife. I'm like happy all day long. Okay, let's try. Let's You've slice seen up. me chop, slice and dice. So let's watch Carissa, okay? My technique, okay. Ooh. Right, it's like butter. It's <gasps> like... I'm going to like a thin slice and see. <gasps> It's like butter. So that's a tomato. Imagine if you're busy slicing through pastries. Yeah. Notorious, we're just crumbing and falling everywhere. Right. This that's is the guy. one. That you got. So now, this <laughs> next one is a paring knife. And now we're going to go quick because I've got more to talk about. Yes, we paring do. Paring knife is also, again, when you need those fine little bits of detail, when you really have to get control what you're doing, um, you know that like aunties, yes. moms, grandmas, that's they, what that reminded they, me of. Peel me, they peel everything <laughs> with the knife, which is great. So, but I mean, it's also the control you have. So if you need to get beautiful slices, wow. you need to find the details. It's the paring knife that you need for Sheesh, that. That's why okay. they're paying the big bucks. All right. There we go. Um, very basic again, but I think important. Forks are not tongues. Okay. <laughs> Felt like that was very personal. Who, who was that at? I just feel like I should just leave that whole comment right there. <laughs> For, forks are not tongues. Get a proper pair of tongues, okay? okay. For, not just for the fact because you're not supposed to be poking your food and turning it over. Mm. If you think about how tall, mm. long a fork is, mm. your hand's quite close to the pan. If you're turning something that's got oil splatter, you'll notice like little, like little oil splatters on your knuckles. Scars. Come they battle on. scars, come on. do you... <laughs> Do you want, life's hard enough. Life is tough. Yeah. Why? Get a good pair of tongs, okay. okay? So perfectly fine. And I do like the one that's got the control thing. Same. Because if it's open, how much space is it taking up in your drawer? Right. Okay, so get the thing. And yes, every time you open it, you must do the... <laughs> you have to. All right. The Where are we at? Fingers. Mull. So you're not going to buy it at Willie's with the spices in it already. Thank you for letting us know. There you go. Please. Oh, <laughs> exactly. But what I love about this is obviously the aesthetics of the wooden handle mm. and the fact that it's glass, you can see what's happening inside. Right. So what I do is we do like, especially when we get guests over and we know what the cuisine is going to mm. be like, I'll do a spice mix in here oh my already. Goodness. So you're not just putting salt and pepper on it. What? I thought so. Salt and pepper. Just, no, no, no. That's 2023. We're spicing things up. So in here. Grounded in my hand. Oh, here we go. So in here, I have got wow. cumin, coriander, mustard seed. I've got some Ooh. smoked chili flakes. I've got salt. Good. I've got rainbow pepper. 
And I mean, there's so much more flavor compared to just salt and pepper. And imagine yeah, when you're tomato. tomato. There we go. You're winning. You're winning at life. Let's okay. go to the next. Okay. Next one. <gasps> Ooh. A zester. Now, not just for zesting citrus, because we know we can zest citrus. Okay. I use this, especially when it comes to decorations. Okay. And I'm going to let you do the demo again. Oh, so God. Yesterday, the... I couldn't zest. Okay, no. let's try. It's okay. It's fine. Today, okay. we, today we got this. Okay. Comes with a safety guard. Very important, because if this is in your drawer and you put your hand in there, uh, knuckles. The knuckles um, getting zested. Okay. All there right. we go. Guard is on. Now, I've got some chocolate for you. Okay, that's easy enough. Very easy. And I do this for decorations, like I say. Okay. And it works really it's well. It's on the side. Yes. Yep. Sorry. I almost touched it. Okay. But also, it gives you beautiful Oof. texture when you're actually turning things into dust. Okay, I mean, that was that. nice. That looks so good. Yesterday, right. that lime didn't want to be zested. It's fine. It's okay. Now, you've done the chocolate. This, here's what I do at home. So that's feta. feta. It's feta. Okay. And it's come out the freezer. It's frozen. It's freezer frozen feta. Okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to zest it for me. And okay. this is what I do for salad. So before you do, when I do like salad for four people, I would use like that whole thing, easy peasy, maybe even a little bit more. When I like do this, when I zest frozen feta, I would use not even half of that for a salad for four. Because it obviously increases the volume as you're busy doing it. And it wow. is, it is like, give me some more, give me some more, give me oh, some more. Oh, you got it. It is like feta <gasps> snow and it just changes everything. Okay. Forget Parmesan, we're grading feta beer. And okay, one so more good. left. One more, very quick, one more. Okay. They're like, you're out of time, you're out of time. No, one more, <laughs> okay. A proper glass mixing bowl. Okay. When you're mixing batters, mm -hmm. You can't see what's popping at the bottom of the bowl. You can't actually see what's happening. Right. Get a proper glass bowl. Yeah. You can actually properly incorporate all your ingredients. Mm. When it comes to baking, mm. ooh, there's that chili. When it comes to baking, grams matter. Okay. So if you've got a whole like two grams of flour or baking powder chilling in the corner, it's going to result in a different bake. All right, so what are we doing here? Let's make some color. Okay. We've got some cream. Uh-huh. Got some pink. Oh. Get some in the bowl. <laughs> Get some in the bowl. A little bit, please. Look. Oh. There you go. Look here, people freaking out right now, but this is Caesar Stone, it's okay, it's gonna come right out. There we go, okay. Beautiful, mixing. beautiful, I'm That's mixing. how you do it. Okay. Get these five items, you'll yes. feel like a pro in the kitchen. <laughs> Check it out in store, online, in the app, at Willie's. If you need more information, call me, but also go and check this out on YouTube for the repeat and make that list. <laughs> yes, listen to the chef, yes, chef. While Zanele is standing by, she's gonna give us some really good things. I wish you could smell what's going on in the kitchen, Zanele, but I know you got some good stuff, let's go.